The MacBook is, is our most popular Mac. But what we've what we've done, and and we've made a habit of doing this at Apple, is is we decided just to start over. The new MacBook is a quite remarkable engineering achievement. It really represents just a complete revolution in the way that notebooks are made. I mean, traditionally, notebooks are made from multiple parts. But the problem is when you have multiple parts, you, you add size and weight and, and you increase the opportunity for failure. And the, the, the huge breakthrough that we had with, with the MacBook was to replace all of those parts with just one part. And that one part we called the unibody. We figured out a way of being able to make, make, make the notebook fundamentally thinner, lighter, more robust, and with, with sort of a degree of, of fit and finish that we've, we've never even dreamed of before. And the only way to make that one part was to machine it from a single piece of aluminium. Aluminum was the ideal choice for this product because it provides us thinness and lightness that we want in the portable category. Great strength to weight ratio also provides us some really nice options from a finishing perspective. The beginning of the unibody starts with a solid block of aluminum. Then we go through an extrusion process, which is kind of like how you make like pasta. And the output of that goes through um, 13 separate milling operations to take a part from solid block down to the finished, finely detailed part that has all the features that we need to go off and assemble the new MacBook. If you have the expertise to do that machining correctly, you can achieve an assembly method that is simple enough that we can get it right every single time. Machining en enables a level of precision that, that is just completely unheard of in this industry. We have been so fanatical in the tolerances of how we machine and build these products. In many ways, I think it's more beautiful internally than it is externally. I mean, I think that testifies to just our, our care. I mean, just how much we care. The new MacBook is the most advanced product from the point of view of the technologies that are going into it, um, the amount of engineering required to create not only the fit and finish of the mechanical part of the product, but also the marriage of electronics and mechanical design to create the kind of refined product that we have. When you open up a MacBook, it's just all display. The glass display goes right up to the edge of the product. We went with glass and LED for many reasons. This has allowed us to have an aluminum housing that was not only thinner, but more structurally sound. There are a number of advantages in using an LED backlight. For one, the LED backlight is on instantly. There's no warm-up time for the LEDs. It's also energy efficient. LED takes 30% less power than a standard display. What you notice as a customer is the color has a lot more pop. It's brighter, the intensity of the color is higher, and you get a much more vivid display. There's a story behind each part. When NVIDIA came to talk to us, they were really interested in building very high performance graphics, but in a desktop chip. What we were interested in was taking that same level of performance and putting it in a portable computer. In graphics intensive applications, our customers will notice a world of difference. The graphics subsystem in the new MacBook is five times faster than the previous MacBook product. Scenes are rendered with a lot more sophistication. The frame rates of motion are much higher. It's pro portable level graphics, but built in a consumer notebook. The new trackpad is made entirely from glass. We've even managed to get rid of the separate button that stole space from the tracking surface. 
and we did that by making the entire glass trackpad the button. We were working for months developing just the right texture just so that the coefficient of friction was absolutely optimal for tracking, gestures, and actually making the click. One of the things I'm most proud of is the environmental story. We've achieved a design that's both ENERGY STAR compliant as well as rated EP Gold. It starts not just from a concept, but all the way through selection of components, how they're engineered, how they're packaged and shipped, and at the end of the day, how they're recycled. We've set ourselves on a really ambitious plan to remove toxins from the electronics, the boards, the flex cables, things like mercury in displays, arsenic in glass, BFRs and PVCs from all of our internal cables. Even the packaging of our products has evolved uh, since we focused on the environmental uh, sensitivity of our products. By packaging our new MacBook in smaller packaging, we're able to create more dense pallets of computers. We're able to take less plane space, less fuel, and have a smaller carbon footprint as a result. We've chosen both materials and processes that are um, the best in the industry from an environmental perspective. I love the way that we don't reserve our very best ideas for our, you know, the very highest end products, that, that our very best ideas, all of our innovation, we bring to the most popular Mac that we make. When you start using it, when you start putting your photographs on it, when you start working on your personal projects, it becomes so much more than just a collection of parts. We've refined and refined every detail in the service of the user just to get rid of complexity. If something doesn't need to be there, it's not there. I mean, I don't know how we could make something any more essential, any, any simpler than, than, than the new MacBook.